Oh, look what we can do. Come on, everybody up. Everybody up, come on. <laughs> All right, we are back and outward with our hero, Jim. When we last left Jim, uh, we had been sent to Chersonese and into the Conflux Mountain to serve as Roland's personal hero and protector. Uh, he'd gotten himself into some trouble and we went into the mountain to save him. Where we also picked up some magic, just a little, little bit. When we found Roland, he asked us to help him with one more task, which I think he wanted to find his father's compass uh, in a cave on the beaches of Cherisonese, and so we went out there to help him. And again, he had gotten himself into some trouble there too, so we helped him out. At the end of that episode, he said he was gonna find his way back to Berg, which is where we are now. Uh, I did stop into Chierzo to rest and repair and all that, um, but the journey from Cherisonese to Berg was pretty uneventful. So we're just gonna pick it up from here today because we are going to be continuing the story by, oh, talking to Gabrielle. I thought we had to talk to Risa. Hi, Risa. We won't be talking to you today. So we are all set to go for adventure. Everything's been taken care of. Before we talk to Gabriella, I'm just gonna see how Roland's doing. I'm kinda growing attached to this idiot. Alright, Roland Argenson says, Gabriella chewed me out over letting a rock mantis get the better of me. I mean, I would say so, Roland. Uh, I mean, those things are tough, and it's probably your first time ever fighting, but... I should really pay more attention to my surroundings. True enough, Roland. Alright, that's it. Roland, do you have a mechanical hand, too? Or is that a... That's a glove. Yeah, so I think we just have weird looking hands. All right, let's talk to Gabriella. I think this person is just stuck here. I don't think that's, we'll see. Howdy, Gabriella. Gabriella says, Roland told me that you bailed him out of the, oh, I thought you were gonna say bailed on him. I was gonna be like, lady, don't you even start with me. All right, Gabriella says, <laughs> Roland told me how you bailed him out of the Conflux Mountain. Damn right I did. I'm glad Risa sent you. At least one of you knows what you're, what they're doing. If you want me to accept this, Accept what? I didn't give you shit. I guess accept that I'm good? Alright. Gabriella continues, If you want me to accept this, you need to prove you can handle a serious fight. I need you to prove you can stare death in the face and come out on top. What have I been doing? What do you think I've been doing? <laughs> oh, lady. Do you even know? This guy was a lighthouse keeper. Jim was a lighthouse keeper. Look at the axe I'm carrying. What do you got? A rinky dink bow? I don't even like you. Alright. We're gonna stare death in the face and come out on top. There's an old temple that belonged to the Cabal of Winds in Enmerkar that's been the lair of a Scourge Beast since they emerged. Ah, oh, man, I was gonna kill that guy too. I should have done that already. Oh, well. The other day I saw a distinctive bright green shell horror enter the place. I want you to go kill it for me. All right, I don't care, whatever. Green shell horror, kill it, got it. Have you ever fought one before? You're either foolishly overconfident or you've been up to things I haven't heard about. I, I think the latter. Gabriella says the temple is up on the mountain in the southwest of the Enmerkar forest. You will know it when you see it. Come back here when that monster is dead. Don't forget to take Roland with you. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, he's being tested too. Interesting. Okay, before we talk to Roland, let's just take a look at this here. Kill the green shell horror in the Cabal of Wind temple in the Enmerkar Forest. Talk to Roland about focusing his magical power. All right, we'll do that. Oh, boy. All right, Roland. <laughs> okay, Roland says, there is no way I'm ready to take down a shell horror. I, 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 have we ever seen a shell horror? Is this gonna be, a, am I making a mistake? Should I have gone and gotten my ax first? I still wanna get that Tonosaur ax. Hmm, I don't know. All right. Okay, Roland says, there's no way I'm ready to take down a shell horror. Those things are massive. I don't know how to work my mana yet, either. What's wrong with your mana? You're able to summon that sword just fine. Yes, but it bends a lot while I have it out. Interesting. And it feels blunt half the time I swing it. Hmm. Okay. My mana reserves are huge, but I can't seem to focus them properly. I wonder, maybe we can find someone to make you a tool that makes it easier to focus that thing. I'm sure there's a smith somewhere in this city skilled enough. Could you ask him for me? All right. I could do that. Find a smith and berg to make you a trinket for Roland. I mean, we're gonna kill that green shell. I don't- what the fuck is a green shell horror? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, outward. You never cease to amaze me. We're gonna go talk to the- I'm assuming they mean the smith, or it could be a magic person. Could be like the magic person back there, but... We'll talk to this guy about making trinkets. I'm sure it's gonna send me out to find something to make a trinket with. 
You look like something is bothering you. Is it something a master smith can deal with? Maybe. Someone I know needs a tool or something that lets him better focus his mana. Can you help? Focus mana, you say? Ah, uh, you must mean Roland. Uh, he was here the other day showing me that magic blade of his. Hmm. Yes, I think I could make a trinket of some kind. I'll need an emerald or a ruby. So oh, I just sold a ruby. As well as some blue sand, which I just got rid of. Oh, I had everything. And a mana stone. I need an emerald, a ruby, a mana stone, and blue sand. Ugh. I, I swear to God, I literally just sold all this stuff. I just sold all of this stuff. Most of it in Chierzo. <laughs> I mean, we quite literally might be heading back to Cherisonese because that's where blue sand is. I don't know of another place that has blue sand. I literally just got back out here. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking game. Oh my goodness. I have to go back to Cherisonese to get blue sand. I have to literally run back to go to the beach to just grab blue sand and come right back. I don't know that there's another place to get blue sand. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we have to do this, like I don't- oh, of course you're in the way. I don't really have a choice because... Roland will die. If he's not focused, or whatever, he's just dead. If this thing is su supposed to be so terrible, I mean, we shall see. I've never dealt with one before. You know, if those, um, I think those little Muppets were called horrors, and I have seen like a giant mother Muppet thing with all the tentacly eye stuff, I wonder if that is a, um, Shell horror. We'll find out. After I literally sprint to Cherisonese and back. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what... what chaos of editing this is gonna be for me. <laughs> I'm sure most of that just got cut out. But, uh, depending on what I did cut out to recap so we know where we're at, uh, we have to take Roland. We are required to take Roland with us to go kill a green shell horror. Um... And before we do that, uh, it seemed like a good idea to get him a trinket from that guy up there, that master blacksmith, uh, that'll help him focus his magic, um, which required us to have in our inventory all the things that I just sold in Chierzo after a half hour long uneventful run from Chierzo to Berg to start the episode. I had to take another 20 minute run back out to the beach to look for some blue sand. <laughs> so I did that. And we are back. But... On the way back, I ran into a very strangely placed, uh, caravaneer. Uh, Soroborian caravaneer, and I picked up the Master Trader boots. I guess we are really just one piece away from going full Master Trader. We may as well do it. I know you can get the Master Trader- I can't see it in here. You can get the Master Trader garb in here by, uh, accepting a gift from an Immaculate. I was gonna try to do- I'm pretty sure if you keep refusing gifts from the Immaculate, eventually you can get something really good. If memory serves. I think, but, uh, I haven't seen for sale Master Trader Garb from anybody, so maybe we'll just go complete the whole set. We are moving pretty swiftly now, though, so that is quite nice. All right, either way, we're gonna start with Talaron. Did you find the materials I need? Remember, I need blue sand, screw you, mana stone, and an emerald or a ruby. Literally just sold a ruby, sold all my mana stones, and sold the blue sand in Chierzo, which is the only place I know where it exists, so I had to run back to get it. Oh, nine dots. Seriously, this is... <laughs> I'm afraid this is going to be a very frustrating episode because also Gabriella was like, the blue shell or the green shell horror, or whatever it is, is very difficult. So <laughs> this is going to be quite an episode, I'm sure. All right, let's do it. Here you go. Work your magic, Talaron. All right, I'll get started right away. Uh, should I work with an emerald or a ruby? Use a ruby. I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Ha, it was tricky work, but I think this should do nicely. All Roland will have to do is clutch this trinket in his palm and channel the blade energy through it. And it should always be sharp and solid. Why don't you give me one? Yeah, whatever. I'll make sure Roland I'll make sure this gets to Roland. I'll send a courier. He's five feet away. Just give it to me. He'll bring the trinket to Roland within the hour. Alright, bye. Dude. Just just give it to He's I can almost see him from here. Just give it to me. All right, whatever. Let's go talk to Roland and tell him, uh, hopefully we still have the option. One of the options was, I need a little more time. If I get a little more time, maybe we'll head out to the Immaculate's camp and complete our traitor garb. Or at least, we'll at least take a look at it. Because I do like my impact resistance and my resistance and my durability. 
but we'll see. We shall see. For now, let's start by talking to Roland. This might actually just, this might just advance the story if it does, so be it. Roland. Oh, Jim, that little gem trinket helps a lot. My mana sword feels much more stable, but still, killing a shell horror? I don't know how anybody could be ready for that. I'm not prepared either. I need to take some time to get ready for this. Alright, we're gonna try to say that because I'd like to go out and we'll at least go compare that Master Trader Guard, which I believe you get in the Embercar Forest. If not, we'll head out and take a look at it. Yeah, great minds think alike. I'm gonna keep training too. Alright, hopefully that didn't just ruin everything. Hopefully stepping outside doesn't trigger this thing. We shall find out. I think he's here. He's either in here or like in this little pocket. Hopefully getting too close to the Cabal doesn't mess everything up. You know, maybe we take Roland with us and stop on the way. Let's try that. We're gonna do that. Because no matter what, we'll push it forward. There's no sense going out there, coming all the way back. Because I think he's out there. If he's out there, we stop, we say hi. I don't think the game's gonna give us Roland to come along with us. We haven't had any followers thus far. I would imagine he's just, he, Roland's just gonna be like, I'll meet you there, like he always does, so. Alright, Roland, let's do this. It's time to kill that green horror. Meet me at the, yeah, meet me. Meet me at the Cabal of Winds Temple. Right. We'll never know unless we try. See you at the old temple. You've seen it, right? It's that large ruin on top of the mountain in Amrakar. Oh, I know where it is, my friend. Uh, this is gonna be either remarkably easy and silly that they've been hyping it up, like it'll be like a rock mantis type thing, or this is going to just not happen. <laughs> oh, we shall see. Yeah, this looks very familiar. I've come out of here before. <laughs> I've been rescued by him many times. Yeah, it would be nice to see what you get from refusing his gifts each time, but... I'm sure there are steps to doing that that I would do out of order or wrong, so we may as well compare free armor. There he is. Alright, pal, I'm really sorry to uh, cut it quick here, but <laughs> I've been at this for an hour. Can you help me? Uh, I need equipment, yeah. Here, I hope this helped keep you safe and alive. I'll make do without. I mean, you weren't gonna wear it. Calm down with the remarks there, pal. All right, thanks for the chat, pal. <laughs> I just stopped and were like, hey, can you give me something? I don't know you. Uh, all right, let's take a look. I mean, it is silly looking. <laughs> oh, you're just master tradered up. All right, we'll chill. We'll be complete master traders for a while. I do like the Kazad armor, and I like how resistant it is to stuff, but we'll try to not get hit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we are in direct line of sight, pretty much, with the, uh, Cabal, so we'll head into the Cabal. I think we might have to face an Immaculate before we do, though. I mean, there was one guarding the temple. Maybe what we'll do so we don't ruin our axe... Jim's axe stays nice and sharp. Is we'll lure the Immaculate out. Because I can always drink a... a tea... to restore my burnt health. My burnt stamina. All right, I don't see anything thus far. We're gonna run up here. If we see him. There he is. I'm not fighting him. I mean, I'm probably gonna have to fight him again if I come back out. You gonna come after me? Yeah, he is. All right, we're gonna lure him out. Does he shoot stuff? Okay, good. Keep coming. We'll go up the other side. Enter the Kamal of Wind Temple. There we go. Yeah. No sense dulling our axe. Oh, there's corruption in here. I haven't dealt with this yet. Is that the green shell horror? Oh, I'm being corrupted. I'm not pulling that lever. I'm gonna pull this lever. What did that do? What the fuck did I just- what is that? Alright, it just blew up. Alright, well, let's go look deeper. Let's find Rowan somewhere. Is he in here? I'm guessing that's the green sh oh shit, is he already dead? What is that? Son of a bitch, Roland! God damn it. Roland sucks. Oh, I'm being corrupted to the extreme. I don't even know what to do with that. Oh, I don't know what to do with any of this. Do I just open this thing? Can I jump down here? What is down here? That's what I thought the horror was. What is that? What is- th is this Dark Souls? How do I get down there? 
All right, I'm not going to open that just yet. We'll open it in a second. Let me just look a little deeper. How bad is this corruption stuff? Am I going to be in trouble? Just take all that shit. Ugh. Can't see. All right, I'm going to open this thing and try to save Roland. Okay. Now, I don't know what's going to hurt him, but I bet it's not poison, so we won't use poison. What we will do is we will get raged. We will get... Stable. We will get... Physical damage. We will... Fire? Sure. Uh, in case things go dramatically wrong, we will drop our bag right here. Oh, uh, here we go. A little nervous. Here we go. Pop it open. Howdy, sir. Oh, Roland's doing it. Come on, this way. Let him come out and get us. No, Roland, don't. Nope, nope, no, 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 he got me. Don't let him kill Roland. Ah, oh, Roland's dead. Well. Oh, he made, he, he lived. Awesome. We did it. We killed a damn shell horror and I'm not dead. You carried your weight there, Roland. Good work. You actually really did. You distracted him really well. I am very pleased with you, Roland. You did a good job. For the first time in my life, it really feels like I did. Thanks for everything, Jim. Let's rip a trophy off this thing and show Gabriella, eh? Man, I, I spent a lot of stuff down there. <laughs> Thinking this was going to be a lot harder. I knew it was going to be that way, too. I'm like, it's either going to be dramatically difficult or just as bad as a, um, you know, a rock mantis or something. I don't know what corruption does. I should probably look at that. I don't know if you have to start any particular DLC to start learning about what that does. Um, I'm sure if I stood around in this, this, this symbol keeps going away, so I'm sure if I stood around, I'd figure it out, but... Uh, I don't think I'm gonna stick around to figure it out. Nightmare Mushroom? Hells yeah. And we got everything off of him, right? And these things don't do anything? That's the thing I thought was gonna be the... Th I don't know what that is then. And also, what's in there? Well, we're not finding out today. We're getting out of here. Hopefully this, the immaculate thing is still far away. I don't know, maybe we'll take him on out of principle. We didn't really have much of a fight there. Uh, was he protecting anything of value? Just the entrance? That's it? Yeah. Alright. I wonder what would have happened if I had already killed the shell horror. If I could have already killed the shell horror. Wouldn't be surprised if I had gone in there early if the thing wouldn't be there yet. Oh. He's really blocking the way, huh? Well, maybe we came to party and this is a good spot to do it. We'll, uh, we'll mess with him and see what he drops. Oh, is he gonna come? Oh, uh, no, no. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you can have that. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't have my stuff. Shit. That was terrible. That was really bad. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, no, 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 no! I'm getting tainted. I gotta get out of here. Pick it up and run. Go, 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 go. I'm getting tainted with something. I don't know what that is. All right, don't you run after me. First of all, listen, pal. Let me explain how much faster I am than you. All right. I got a little distracted by getting tainted and let him hit me three times. He also hits really, really hard. Good to know. He's still coming slow, but I'm going to take a great life potion. That's what we got it for. Oh, it heals everything. All right. Uh, let's continue to run. And let's see what uh, taint it is. Hunger rate 100%. For how long? Forever? All right, we'll have to find... I might have some hex cleaner in the house. I'm sure that'll get rid of being tainted. Tainted had no timer on it, so I'm guessing that's forever. Uh, hex cleaner, nice. All right, let's see. Does it work? It does not. All right. Well, I had to look it up. So apparently, I have 25% corruption, and the only way to get rid of it is with stuff that comes from the DLC. Now, I'm curious if the definitive edition adds. If the Definitive Edition might add the necessary potions to these people. The Caravaneers, but it does not seem that that is the case. Um, hmm. 
All right. All right, we will talk to Gabriella. See what she's got to say about us killing this horror. Hopefully it's good news. Well, let's talk to Roland first. Hi, Roland. You're the one who really handled that fight. You should be the one to report on all the juicy details. Actually, Roland, you did a ton of good work there. Believe me. Did you kill that green... Oh, lady, your attitude. Did you kill that green horror yet? Yes, the monster is dead. Really? Did you bring back proof? Yeah, here's a piece of its chitin. Is this enough to convince you? Hmm, yes, this is from that monster, all right. I can smell the blood on it. You must have done a bang-up job on the thing. All right, lady. Why don't you come with us and help and watch me do it? Well, I'm satisfied that you know how to handle yourselves. I'll initiate you both uh, the moment you're ready. The sooner both of you are connected with the ancestral memories, the better. Jim, can you go fetch Julius? I'll need an experienced Cryptea mage for this. In the meantime, Roland, come with me. We're going to the necropolis to prepare for the initiation. Do you know where I can find Julius? Uh, Julius has been staying at the inn during his investigation. If you can't find him out and about, he'll probably be there. Ask around. All right. Okay. We've talked to Gabriella. We've talked to Roland. They're going into the necropolis. We're going to find Julius in the inn. I'm going to imagine we don't. Hopefully. The way this episode is going, hopefully this does not involve a trip back to Cherisonese. <laughs> hopefully. Who is this? What is this? What's going on? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's going on? Why am I hearing battle music? All right. Oi, you. Yes, you. Go fetch Risa. One of her idiots just tried to stab me. Is that Julius's corpse behind you? What? Oh. Oh. Is that Julius's corpse behind you? What happened here? He was talking to a girl in red and it turned into an argument. She was telling him that there was something she needed to do and he was refusing. Uh, telling her that he wouldn't let her throw her life away. All right, then she said, If I don't go into that necropolis, my mistress will kill me. And I decided that it might be a good idea to ask them a few questions. That's when your friend over here decided to try to take me with a dagger. And the girl grabbed something off his belt and bolted for the door. Julius, you idiot, this sounds like the oldest story in the... <laughs> sounds like the... Oh, man, why can't I have a beard like that? Man. Outward, you've been a disappointment to me today. <laughs> All right. Oldest story in the book. What are you blabbering about? One of Reese's goons tries to murder me and you're concerned about the girl that ran instead? You'll have to get Reese yourself. I need to catch up with that woman before she breaks something important in the necropolis. All right, that's weird. Once again, we are hit with exposition instead of seeing, we are told. Uh, but I guess we're gonna run into the necropolis, right? Find Gabrielle in the necropolis. All right, in we go. Yes, it's raining. Who are these folks? Oliel! Cyril, what can the Chamber Lord of Sorobor do for you? Time is money, my friend. Never waste it. Oh, I want to train with you? What do you got? Huh. The Mist Boon. 50 silver? Sure. Increases my ethereal damage and resistance. Okay. We'll try that out one day. Oliel, how you doing? Nice to see you, Jim. You have nothing to fear while I'm around, my friend. I mean, do you hear the music, Oliel? What do we got? Necropolis. Beautiful. Oh, we should probably rage up and, um... What is that other thing we have called? I don't even know. The thing that makes us, uh... more stable or do more impact damage. Ah, oh, there's ghosts. Why are there ghosts? I was not ready for ghosts. Well, thank God we learned this thing. And, uh, let's do fire. And there we go. Come on, friend. Man, I hit you with a lot and you, nothing. Nothing helped. Nope! Dive. Ah, fuck, there's two of them! Shit! Nope. I'm in trouble. What is all this noise I'm hearing? I'm hearing terrible noises and I'm getting hurt. All right, we got to put on our bag. Put on the bag. Put on the bag. Put on the bag. What are you doing? Put it on. Get out of the way. <laughs> all right, we're going in deeper. Woo. All right, hopefully I don't die when I walk in. <laughs> I didn't even check if I was losing health. Oh my God, there's going to be, this is going to be filled with top to bottom with ghosts and I have no varnish. 
Everybody's back. Shit. All right. I don't know. Um, are we still in the necropolis or do I have to be out there? That's the necropolis. Let me get unhaunted. All right. We're going to go back in and see what it looks like. I'm just going to run around real quick and make sure they're not in here. Because the only place else to go is, is where we are right now. So we'll sprint around in this little area they're showing us on this thing. Make sure they're not in here. They are not, so we do have to go deep. Alright, we will go deep. Alright, we're going to the Ancestor's Resting Place. Hope for the best. <laughs> I didn't bring any ghost stuff. Oh my god, this episode has been so frustrating. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for anything. I don't think there's any reason to clear this out. They're not in there, so... I mean, do I need this door open for any reason? Is there a door on the other side that I can't see? I'm gonna go ahead and open the door. I don't want to deal with all these guys at once, but... Whatever. I did have the key on me. Come on out, guys. Oh, nice, and there's the- Oh, they're gonna fight each other! I love it! Oh, both of the bugs. That I don't love so much. Alright, let's see if uh, we can put out some of these. Here they come. Do they see me? They do. Oh, shit, 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 shit! Dive! Get- Take off your bag! Oh, uh, did I get hit? No, I didn't. Son of a bitch. There's too many of them. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, we're just gonna keep hitting one at least until I have some room here. Uh. Here. Now you're just gonna die. There. Now I don't care anymore. There you go, you're just gonna die. Oh my god. Kill. Kill. You gonna do that thing you wanna do? I know you wanna do it. I oh, got me. Now you die. Oh, man, this is what happens when you take a week off. <laughs> All ability to play the game goes away. Only a minute. All right. Only a minute left of this nightmare. <laughs> All right, now I gotta face this guy. You will definitely get some traps, that's for sure. Man, I'm gonna be quite peeved. If I go through all this and I still have to go fight those ghosts, because there's one more place that Gabriella and them could be, and I bet that's where they actually are. There's like a little gate in the necropolis area of the necropolis. So I'm gonna fight through all this, waste all my stuff. Are you in here? You are. Ah, fuck. Come on, up this way. Did you get all of them? No, do it. There we go. You did not get all of my traps. Ah, oh, shit. Do it! Do the thing! Alright, fuck this. Fuck this, put this on. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Is this the way to go? 
It is. Go. Good. All right, screw you guys. <laughs> oh, I knew this was going to be the way, too. Well, at least I dulled the heck out of my blade. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, Gabriella, you're so tough. Jim, thank the ancestors. We're in a bad spot right now. Did you find Julius? He's dead. He tried to shank Sagard Battleborn on account of a girl in red who said she really needed help getting into the necropolis, or her mistress would kill her. Lovely. I can see where that story is going. The damn fool let himself be manipulated by the enemy. What happened to you two? You're injured. As soon as we got this far, ghosts started pouring out of the bottom of the necropolis. I think they're remnants that frayed off the ancestral memories. That damn lick worshipper must have already started to corrupt them. I got taken by surprise if it wasn't for Roland. Uh, wait, Roland saved you? It turns out he's got a knack for ghosts and spirits. He sensed them coming and drove them off. The ghosts are in a blind fury and sealed the way deeper. I need you to find the altars for the Sutherland and Aberdeen families and make an offering there. If you burn some greasy fern at those altars, it should calm the ghosts down enough that they'll recognize us. If you don't have any scour of the necropolis, we use greasy fern when communing with the ancestors, so there should be enough here. I hate you. The most you can possibly hate somebody. So I've got to find greasy fern. Probably fight a million ghosts. I don't have anything to fight ghosts with. Son of a bitch. All right. Oh, of course there's two. Stop. All right, whatever. Screw you guys. I need greasy fern. Is this greasy fern? It is. All right, I got it. Got the greasy fern. Lots of it. Nope. Oh, uh, can I interact and lock you guys in here? There's a blue skull effigy. I've got a burn. Nope, oh, not that way. Got to find altars. Oh my god, there's so many ghosts in here. I don't have anything to deal with ghosts. I have none of the necessities for dealing with ghosts. Gabriella, can you take care of some of these guys? You're just standing here. What the fuck is this? What is this? Oh my god. Can I get back out of here and go get all my spiritual varnish? How does one get out of here? There are so many ghosts in here. I have to leave and go get my spiritual varnish. Sorry, Gabriella. That's what's gotta happen. There's like a hundred ghosts. <laughs> this fuck. Why not even a, a, just a hint of a word? Just a hint of a word. I better be ready for this with some spiritual varnish. All right. I don't give a shit if Roland and 10 other people die down there. I'm going to get my stuff. I don't know if I want to waste time with the guys that are in the top. I don't think I care about them. I think we're going to try to run past them. Just in case we get stuck, we will do this. Man, that takes up so much of my mana. Uh, I'm not going to do the varnish yet. We're just going to run right past these guys. Try to lock them in here. Yeah, we should be able to. Yep. Come on, get through them. Go, 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 go! There's three of them up here. Oh, look what we can do. Come on, everybody up. Everybody up, come on. <laughs> okay, hold on a second, quick. These should be in my pocket. These should not have been in here. Shit, 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 shit. Jump, 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 jump. Stand there for a lot longer. That's good. There. Whatever you are, you're dead. Oh, don't interact, no. Uh, let's put on a... This. Put on a bandage. Drop this. Oh my god, everything takes so long! Drop it! Drop it! <laughs> no. No, don't put it back on. I hate you. Okay. My goodness. Could that have been more of a clusterfuck? Oh my god. These things are never gonna go away. Or at least we're ready for this one. Of course you start swinging right when I start swinging. <laughs> there, you're dead. Now you're dead. 
Interesting I can't loot these guys. I can't do ethereal traps, huh? And if there is such a thing, I don't know the the skill. Man, this has been such a clusterfuck of an episode. Let's see how awful this guy is, huh? Let him get fucked up by one, maybe? Man, you missed it. Get over here. No, you're going through that. Go through this. There you go. There. No, you're dead. Oh, you better give me something. And you know what you're gonna give me? Spiritual varnish. <laughs> Are you the ghost of Roland? Oh, nice! Two spiritual varnish and a... Shimmer potion. Alright. But we'll keep, uh, we'll keep going. Oh, there's an altar. Is this an altar? Yes, nice. Do it. Burn a greasy fern. Nice. Alright, that was one. We just gotta pay attention, make sure we're actually noticing where the other one is. Been kind of running around scared. Man, this was a clusterfuck of an episode, my goodness. <laughs> this is probably the worst time to be away from this game for a week. I needed to be in, like, top performance. Although it was some pretty good luck that I was able to trap half of these things. Far away. Alright, there's the skull we took. I'm worried about taking more skulls because I think something rose out of the grave when I did that. Huh. Where are... where's the other altar? I don't know. This is not a room, so there's nothing there. This is not a... room. There we go. How about that? Screw you, pal. Ah, fuck. Damn it. Damn it! Get up, Jim! Too busy doing the wrong thing. One more. Dead. All right. Tired, but dead. All right. Does that, like, unlock the altar to burn? There is no altar. Oh. Okay. I guess... Alright. Good work. Good work on the barrier, Jim. Roland went up ahead to deal with the altar and our unwelcome guest. Go catch up with him and stop her. You're injured. What happens if a ghost comes after you when no one is here to back you up? I don't matter, but that altar and the memories within, if they aren't cleansed of the Scarlet Lady's influence, the Collective and everyone in it will suffer greatly. Go. All right, after running around here for a hundred million years, it seems like quite possibly what I need to do is really like, this has been a, bon a bonkers episode. It seems like I might need to defeat one of these many ghosts that are up here. Who knows which one, but one of the many ghosts that are all standing there need to be defeated. Maybe. <laughs> and hopefully this is the right thing to do. We shall see. Alright. One of them's dead. Two of them's dead. I'm just gonna keep swinging until they're all dead. Just die. Okay. They're all dead. Woo! Now, in theory, I had to pause this to look it up because I ran around this necropolis 152 times and found nothing. And it seems quite possibly that one of these ghosts, purple, purple ghost, needed to be defeated. We're just going to check, make sure there's no one else in here. There is not. One of them, their defeat would be what unlocks the last area, which was in the uh, yellow flame area. Oh, it looks like it did. It worked. And there's another ghost to fight. Beautiful. <laughs> that is unreal that that was the trigger, that one of those ghosts was the trigger. Man. 
Yeah, this was all... Thank God I looked that up. Man, what a... What an incredibly unlucky episode this has been. My goodness. All right. My goodness. The spirits bound to this altar are terribly agitated. Only a burnt offering of greasy fern will let you calm them down. Done. All right, Jim. What a monstrously unlucky episode this has been. My goodness. All of the frustrations you could ever experience in this game <laughs> experienced all at once for me right now. Well, we defeated every single ghost that ever existed. And we are not healing anymore, so we're going to do that. Oh, there's Roland. No, that's not Roland. I don't know who that is. I can't lock onto him, so he's got to be friendly. Uh, Kermua a, a year. I've got nothing to say to living people. These bones won't be put to rest on their own. Wait. Is that one of the ancient blue skulls you have there? Thank God I held on to it. How did you get that without being torn to shreds? Hmm. All right, look, I don't care. If you're a grave robber or a member of the Cryptea, just gather all four for me, all right? They should have been put to rest ages ago. There you go. Awesome. Oh, perfect. Let me just... Hmm. They seem stuck together. What the... Uh, I think they want to come with you, huh? You must have a knack for bringing people together. Oh, an ornate bone shield. So that's that. We got an ornate bone shield. Well, that's good. If we ever do a, uh... Sword and board run. Good to know where it exists. What is this? There's nothing I can do with that right now. All right. That's Roland, right? Yes, it is. All right. Hi, Roland. Oh, you look so confident. Thank a lot you made it. I really don't like the look of this mess. She already added her entire spirit to the ancestral memories. They're in agony. Can you hear them? Can you see them? Uh, no, Roland, I can't. How bad is it? Really? You can't see it? No, I can't see shit. The ancestral memories are in a frenzied storm around that altar. And there's this huge streak of red winding around it. Uh, she's already done serious damage to them. So many of the memories are tainted with red. It's hard to tell where she ends and the ancestral memories begin. I think... I think I might be able to use my mana sword to cut her spirit out of that mess. It's risky, but if I jam the blade in just the right spot, we have a chance. Stand back. Once I start cutting, the memories and ghosts will start pouring out of that storm! But you're going to get caught in that. Yeah, we're not going to tell him to mess it up. He's done a good job so far. He actually really helped at one point. Yeah, I am, but I don't see another option. Risa said if we lose these ancestral memories, the whole collective will suffer. Are you sure you can handle this, Roland? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I can handle this. I know exactly what I have to do. Now stand back and let me work. As Roland plants his mana sword into the air around the altar, a violent burst of blue energy blinds you. Then a woman's scream breaks the air, and the red energy rushes past you. They should have just animated that. Yeah, whatever. As the brilliant light fades, Roland remains... Uh, his eyes glowing with a strange fey light. Uh-oh. Ah! Do I have to fight Roland? Yo, Roland. You're crazy looking. Wait, he is Whispering Bones? Okay, we're gonna talk to Roland. Oh boy, don't make me fight him. I, uh, I, we, we are Whispering Bones. We thank you for saving us. Roland, are you still in there? Fear not, Jim. Roland is with us. He has saved us. Now he is one of us. We can show you. Oh, no, 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 no. A vision fills your sight. You see ghostly shapes swirling in a large, slow vortex. Roland is at the center, grinning. He seems satisfied. As you can see, your companion is part of us now. Together, we will safeguard the memories. Awesome. Yeah, we're not going to call him a freakish monster. What are you? We are a lich. We are Whispering Bones. We are the guardian of the ancestral memories. We will gladly work for the good of the collective. All right. We can grant you a boon. We have knowledge of the most ancient ancestors. We are the living history of the Collective. Awesome. You can get a boon from him. Please tell us how we can help you. I want to be better protected from harm. That's for damn sure. We can grant this. We shall place a spirit within a lantern for you and fill it with a desire to protect you. So long as you hold it aloft, harm from magic or elements of all kinds will be reduced. Ghosts will find it especially hard to harm you. Then so it shall be. The Lich conjures a brilliant flame and gently places it into a lantern. The spirit within will ward magical and ghostly harm away from you. We hope you are pleased with the boon we have granted you. You and the Cryptea are always welcome to speak with me. Awesome. All right. Thank God I didn't have to fight him. Oh my goodness. What a freaking episode. <laughs> now let's talk to him one more time. We have much to do and think and remember. Please do not bother us at this moment. It is difficult for us to get used to our new life. Perhaps another time we can help you. All right, cool. Guess we got to talk to Risa. 
I don't even know how we get out of here. I don't remember how we got in here. This whole thing has been a crazy blur of technicalities. <laughs> ah, there's Risa. Okay, I was gonna say we can take care of some stuff first, but I guess we'll talk to her. I just saw Gabriella. What happened down there? Take a look downstairs. We have a new friend. I'm afraid I don't understand. Where's Roland? What happened here? He's turned into a lich, and not a hostile one either. His spirit has merged with the ancestral memories. You should probably ask him. Well, them. For details. I is this true? Roland? A lich? And he has become part of the ancestral memories? This is a huge change. One that I pray is for the best. If this lich really is willing to help us, then we have leveled the playing field against the Scarlet Lady. Nice. I should hurry down and speak with him. I'm glad I confided this mission to you. Your actions made a great difference today. Although no one in the Collective will ever know what you did for them. Hmm. Uh, well, yeah, if the Corte ever needs me again, you know where to find me. I guess I know to keep ghost stuff on me now. Uh, I do indeed. Thanks for choosing to remain with us, Jim. Your continued aid is welcome. I am proud to count you as family, Jim Aberdeen. Jim Aberdeen. Look at us. Aberdeen family. Thank you for all you've done for us. Laid to rest. Ancestral Peacemaker has been added to the journal. Alright, let's get ourselves the heck out of here. My god. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at this, uh... Journal. Risa, in the city of Berg, we'll have a task for you in three days. Alright. Alright, well that is where we are going to leave it. I guess, uh, Roland has settled up the score by saving us this time. And merging with the Whispering Bones. I was literally ready for Risa to say that that was it. We did it. We did everything. But I guess I forgot... We still have to save the Blue Chamber Collective, but before we can do that, we're going to have to deal with the Scarlet Lady. The journal says we will have a task in three days, uh, so that means we have a bit of time. Maybe we'll spend the next episode heading over to the Hallowed Marsh and making that axe I've wanted to make, even if just out of principle alone. But we will do that in the next episode, so subscribe for more Outward, and I'll see you next time.